Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD and hands-on review on Microsoft Sway, their new PowerPoint kind of presentation thing that they created or uh, are still developing. Uh, the only way that you guys can get access to Swave is if you go to Swave.com and uh, place your email address and hopefully in a couple of weeks you're going to get an invite. Go inside, you log in with your Microsoft account with a live.com email account or a hotmail.com account and uh, you're in. Uh, you want to create a new Swave and you just click on create new Swave. But the best thing about this whole interface is that if you do log into your Microsoft account, it integrates uh, all your features that you have, like your online Word, uh, on OneNote Online, your OneDrive to get all those pictures that you want. So I'm going to create a new one for with you guys. And when you click on a new, it takes you to this blank kind of interface. Uh, tap on the right to view and adjust your Swave. So I'm going to tap here. And as you can see, I haven't placed anything as of yet. So if I go back into the storyline, you're able to click and uh, you know type in what you want. Uh, I don't I don't believe you're able to adjust the fonts uh, the way that you want it. I, it depends on what kind of theme you're using. That's that's kind of whatever theme you're using is what the font is going to change. Okay. Uh, you can actually emphasize. Emphasize is basically is going to bold it. Uh, you can actually create a link uh, to somewhere. So I, I'm going to take this to uh, my blog site and as you can if, as you saw right there's no indication of like an OK button or a cancel button so the way to get out of this you actually have to hit enter to confirm that that's what you want uh, if you had if you hit the plus it adds another it uh, gives you this little sub menu if you want to create another header text media or you want to upload something now the upload portion of this they don't really indicate what you can upload like if I try to upload a PNG file or image file, it's gonna it's gonna basically upload it, but it's gonna upload it into your OneDrive. So that's pretty cool. You can also give it a caption here. So let's uh, hello world. Now the layout you now once you click inside the little slot, uh, it gives you more options, and within the options you can actually change the layout, showcase it, or you can delete it. Now the layout. These are the layouts that they have right now. Uh, the ones that are grayed out, those are the ones that you cannot use because they're still developing this brand new kind of thing and the same coming soon, right? So the only thing that you could do is only uh, either stacks or uh, group. And the group is you're able to add multiple pictures. As you can see, uh, I could, if I click on the plus sign, uh, it goes inside my OneDrive and I'm actually able to upload whatever pictures I have inside my OneDrive. Uh, if you click in here, it kind of slides it to the side. Uh, if you want to change the layout, you can do that if you want. Uh, you can change it as you want. That's so it's pretty cool. You press the check, confirms it, and then you're good to go. If you want to add another one, just hit the plus. And let's say you want to do a media and it gives you options. You can actually pick a media from your Facebook account, OneDrive, YouTube, Twitter, or you can add a source. If you click add a source, it tells you, it gives you more options of where you want to be adding the source, which is pretty awesome. Um, I'm gonna, not now. Okay, so let's say we want to add a video. So I want to click on media again and go to YouTube and I want to add a video of myself or whomever. Uh, if you try searching to find content to add to this way, so you're actually able to go inside your search and I'm gonna do BJ Tech News. It's gonna pull everything of BJ Tech News. And um, let's say I want this and add it. And that's it, you're good to go. You just click on that little arrow to slide it to the side. And again, it gives you more options to either change the layout. You only have two options for now. Um, you're able to short case. If you click on the short case, what's gonna happen is you're gonna be normal, more, or most, so I'm saying most. And what's gonna happen? That's gonna be like your your main event kind of thing. As you as you saw, this right here was got huge. So let's click on that, and this is how it looks. This is how it looks. Uh, let's go back into our storyline, and if you want to change the mood, let's change the mood to a different style. And I want the style to be this color, so it changes everything. And I want it to be wooden. There you go. So if you want to like change things up and you want the program to do it on its own, 
because you have no you know sense of design just click remix and it will remix it for you and it gives you a nice little uh, navigation tools at the bottom that you're able to navigate which is pretty awesome again I think this program has a lot of potential uh, it, it's great when you are uh, building a PowerPoint presentation or a presentation that you need to go to a client this is great because it's always up in the cloud you don't have to have a laptop or you don't have to have like a flash drive if the client site has a computer and internet access you could basically log into your Swave account and run your PowerPoint with ease now the only problem is it's a little bit uh, complicated to get the things up and running meaning you're it's not like PowerPoint it's not like you could drag and drop and create your slides and bullets and all that stuff so it's, it's still work in progress I think Microsoft has a long way for this to actually replace PowerPoint I don't really think this is gonna be replacing PowerPoint but it is an option out there uh, I'm super I'm super impressed that uh, they actually creating this it's free uh, that's I think that's why I'm impressed because it's free uh, other than that I'm not too hype about it it's one of those things that uh, it's great to have uh, in case I can't own a Microsoft Office suite because I, I can't do a PowerPoint or I don't have uh, pages or a Mac or whatever uh, you can actually run this on any platform if you have a Linux like Ubuntu or, or Mac OS with Apple or Windows 8 with a PC so go inside Swave.com, fix your presentation, save it. It automatically saves it so you guys don't have to worry about the machine crashing and you losing anything because it's already saved online. So you have, don't have to worry at all. If you want to share with other people, they give you an option to share it. Uh, you're able to share it on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, it gives you a link, a specific link that you will provide your clients to go to the site and view your presentation. And... Uh, you also are able to embed this into your site as well, which is awesome. And and that's it. You can preview my and that's that's pretty self-explanatory. The only thing it's still developing, it doesn't have a lot of templates. You can't manipulate it the way that you would normally do in a PowerPoint presentation. And that's it, guys. If you guys have any um, thoughts on this particular product, Microsoft Swave, I, you know, it's pretty cool. It's free. Try it out. Go for it. If you have any comments or questions, leave it at the bottom of the description or the comment section. And don't forget about hitting that like button and uh, catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.